What's going on guys? In this video we are going to see how to calculate the input impedance of this transistor circuit. Now first thing is we are going to draw the equivalent model of this one. The equivalent model of this one will look like this. Let's go ahead and draw that. Okay, here this one connected to the ground and this one, this one, this one and like this, like this and here we go and this is connected to the ground and this one also connected to the ground and this one also connected to the ground and here we will have a voltage source voltage source that's that's uh, actually resistance R51 and the voltage across the resistance is V51 and here we will have a current source current source current source is gm1 v51 and here we will have a resistor this resistor will be here that is r1 r1 and uh, the voltage here is voltage here is VT and current through this is IT. Now first thing is we are going to apply KCL here. KCL you can see this current is going from negative to positive so this is going to be negative IT right here. Negative IT is equal to negative IT actually let's KCL can be written in the two ways you can add all the current and equate to zero or equalize entering current to exiting current so i'm i'm just going to add all the currents here we have v51 over this is v51 v51 over r51 that's one current r51 and then gm1 v51 is another current gm1 v51 all together it's equal to zero and if we write this one in terms of it this is going to be it is equal to V51 over R51 plus GM1 V51 <coughs> and then V51 is equivalent to VT. That's equation 2. Now instead of this V51, we are going to replace it with VT because our um, final, we are trying to find R in. That's the purpose. R in is basically vt over it we are trying to bring into this pattern that's why v51 is equal to vt we we can see it from here so if v51 is equal to vt then we can replace all the v51 with vt so this is going to be it is equal to vt over r51 plus gm1 instead of this v51 i again plug vt and here to take the vt out we can take vt common so it is equal to 1 over r51 plus gm1 and vt common and then let's continue here therefore vt over it is going to be equivalent to 1 over 1 over r51 plus gm1 now vt over it is basically R input, input impedance, and here you, we can see that one over uh, R five. If we have a resistor like this, it means parallel. So we can directly write R five one parallel. Since GM one is in the numerator, we have to think it like one over one over GM one. So this is going to be one over GM one parallel, one over GM one, and we know that VT over IT is R in and uh, that is r51 parallel to 1 over gm1 that's all we had to show that's the final solution i hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching and if you are trying to learn electronics there are a bunch of videos in my playlist i hope you guys watch that too and don't forget to subscribe see you next time